Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time it will not be about cutting any nails but <laughs> it was just a funny little thing well uh, it will be about the uh, the very stiff eyepiece shutter lever uh, in uh, my Nikon D800 and um, I think okay it could be a nice video to make something about because the eyepiece uh, here you can normally close it uh, to um, prevent any uh, light from coming behind into the actual sensor or something and uh, but you have to close it but it's really tight yeah you can see it will not really Wow. Uh, we try to put it back again. It's really, really stiff. I mean, it should be a, there is a spring inside here. So it will, I mean, uh, just help to, when you open and close the, the shutter uh, lever here, uh, it will just pop up and, and close actually. But it's not the case here. So, uh, I think okay uh, it will be a video about that so but we need some tools um, at least a JIS screwdriver which is the uh, 2.5 millimeter here uh, this is from Moody tools and I think it's a good tool and uh, we need some some uh, I mean if we could use some uh, different small tools it will be dentist tools like this um, a tweezer a pair of tweezers also very handy it, maybe I will only use one or two and one of these uh, dentist tool which is really good steel uh, I make a little hook out of it uh, modified another one uh, an old one and make it as it acts as a little hook so it can pull the spring into place, which will we come back to. And the other one is really good. It's just kind of a spade in each end. So it's really good to dig under a blade or something uh, and lift it up. And it, I think it can be very useful in this case. Some uh, cotton buds uh, together with some isopropyl alcohol 99% will also be very good. I guess <clears throat> a uh, pair of uh, pliers uh, which is some um, flat nose plier and a really really uh, pointy one also kind of um, as an old one uh, this is a new one is from the brand called Nipex which is a really good Germany brand and uh, yeah what else we also will need some loop i mean grease in this case we will use some i will use some liquid molly lm50 it uh, lithium grease uh, which have a quite a big temperature span from minus 35 to up to plus uh, 150 degrees celsius uh, not fahrenheit <laughs> but um so uh, but let's dig into it just have a little lower light that was better now um, to get into the actual eyepiece uh, just take off the the actual um, rubber eyepiece uh, with the glass element and uh, you can use a piece of rubber or you could this is a from a copy machine it's uh, the roll uh, <laughs> paper roller feeder uh, in it and it's really really sticky rubber but you could also use those uh, handy rubber tools uh, from Japan Hobby Tools those uh, cone which I also like very much and uh, it should be quite uh, so you can just press it on and then turn it I mean it should be possible um, as I think it mm, might be just like you have the Nikon uh, D3S uh, you have to 
close the blind, the shutter lever, before you actually can turn the the ring here. But uh, I cannot remember; it's the same here. But um, yeah, we'll see if there are any dents on the back here. I think it's not the case here. No. No, I think it, you can just unscrew it. It was just a bit uh, tightened. So all for that. And uh, when we have the actual shutter uh, open here, uh, there's nothing here. Mm, uh, yeah, there is actually. You can see a little spring here. This one. And if I close... I mean, yeah, close the blind, it will probably move a little. Yeah, it's the same as the Nikon D3. So you have to close the blind, the shutter uh, uh, lever here. Oh, you can see really sticky. But, okay, we'll go into it. And uh, using my JIS 2.5 millimeter, there is only one screw on the top here. It's not the same for the Nikon D3S uh, or just Nikon D3. And uh, and it's not the same for Nikon D610 as I remember. So you just unscrew it. Uh, and we'll just get it off here. Put the things so you remember where they belong to. Just a good thing. Uh, so we can, it should be able to just pull it off and simply lift it up here. You see the little spring down there? Just twist. So you twisted the uh, eyepiece actually and pull it away. And there so things are inside here. Nothing there to do. And um, so we have the actual um, IP shutter and the shutter blind here on the back. Now uh, there is a uh, screw up here which hold the blade and the lever here. Uh, together and there's also one uh, screw down here which hold the the other corner of the assembly here in place now so one of the things that we need to do is use the dentist tool or you could use your plier to just uh, unhook the spring here um, just bend it a little and then move it like this. I could of course also use the the uh, dentist tool to just pull the the spring here on. Uh, if it's possible, mm, I think I have to modify this one a little. But you can also do it. Uh, just uh, if you take the I mean this part here, the end of the tool need to be a little shorter so it acts as a smaller um, hook. But we can just do it again. So not scratching anything. And the, um, the actual spring is free to move out of place. So something like that. Now. Uh, to get the actual blade off, we need to open the shutter here. The shutter lever. Oh, it's really, really stiff. So, uh, this spring here can be a little annoying. Oh, this spring here can be a little annoying because when you put the blades in and you put the spring on, uh, I mean, <laughs> the screw on and the little washer. There's only one washer down here, uh, made of brass or something. So you just have to pull the spring here. So how to do that? Well, I would do that 
just by pressing on the side here of the spring so it's uh, it will not move and so you can prevent the blades from moving too much when unscrew it so just unscrew it and have a good tight fit here and also keep a finger on the blade because when uh, when the screw comes off just let it stay on the screw driver no we will use another one <clears throat> um you can see get the the washer off here it's a bit sticky on the old grease Hey, come off and now have a finger here so the blade will not just flew away uh, it could be the case but uh, so remember the orientation and the uh, the way the blades are put in we take the other one so it sits like that um, so the first blade has to come in last. So now you can just release the uh, the spring here and um, get over to the other screw in the other corner, the opposite corner. The little spring here, this uh, brass spring here will come off when you unscrew it. So keep that in mind when you assemble it again. And we will just put it down here so we know where it is. And this little spring comes off. And now we should be able to push the the lever uh, axle here. Push it out so it will come out to the back. Uh, have a finger on it in here. And you will probably see there's a really old, it's actually green, so I might think there's been water in in here, kind of. And um, flip it over. And now I should be able to actually take the whole uh, assembly, I mean the rest of it out. It's, it's uh, on the, the kind of an axle here. So I can just lift it up and flip it over and this is what we see inside. And if we take a closer look here on the plastic thingy here, the outer eyepiece housing, you'll see there's all of those old green uh, grease I guess must be and uh, yeah I just need to clean that I will do it with a cotton bud on the other hand the this uh, the back of the the uh, oh, I can see there has been bended something maybe someone have pulled off the the eyepiece I mean the uh, actual um, eyepiece the outer eyepiece off by doing it very not gently but maybe it has to be in like that uh, I mean maybe it has to be bended a little so it push on the on the actual uh, those if you look on the back here you'll see those tap I think it maybe it's difficult to see but there are some taps here here the space between them so it will act as a click when you put it in click 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 so on now uh, the bearing I mean the the uh, inner I mean the eyepiece stopper as it called in the service manual uh, it's not really that uh, bad it works and it, uh, I think it's not that sticky well if I uh, would like to I could take it out here 
but that's not the case in the, in this uh, video. So it's more the the really really sticky uh, bearing here, the hole here on the back. That's the old stuff, the old grease. So I would uh, use some isopropyl alcohol, 99%. You could also use some in a lower uh, percent of uh, isopropyl alcohol, but uh, well, this, this is what I have. You can probably buy it on the apotheque or so. And uh, you can see the green stum stuff comes off <laughs> really, really dirty. Uh, so there. And I think it will be fine for now. Just get the, all the the old stuff out. And there's something here. So there. And just get all the old gunky grease away. And now it looks fine. It actually do. There's no green stuff left. Uh, and I think I have to do the same here on the, the inner uh, here on the brass and bearing. So there. I mean the blades look actually fine. So it's only the this uh, piece of the uh, that is really bad. Oh, the grease is really, <laughs> really, really not good. Don't know what's happened here. So there, and uh, I'll just do it another go. So I think we actually are fine. And on the back here, but I think we need a smaller cotton bud to get into the the corner. I mean the the corner what did I say it's um, the inner the most inner here you probably can see there are something left but it will come away as soon as I can reach it and I it will be fine. So there, almost. So there. Uh, maybe we use another dentist tool just to get into the deep edge here inside there and just use a curtain bud to just wipe it the rest of it away so and I think maybe is also there is something in the hole here there. <laughs> that we really can see there is a lot of old gunk here and everything looks fine. So we can just say it's fine here. So everything looks really good. There's nothing here on the uh, plate here. No, it was just something. Now, everything actually looks fine. Uh, well, I would think there is something on here uh, that I would like to just 
wipe away. So we can get it to work proper. Yeah. I mean, this part here actually moves really good. So there's nothing to do about that, in my opinion. But there was something here. Yeah. I think it's fine for now. Maybe there's something here. Yeah. So that's fine for now. And uh, I can actually just put the the things back into normal order. So here. So, but we need some lubrication um, and will, it will just be a very ah I forgot something yeah the actual eyepiece uh, shutter lever which is also very dirty so <laughs> um, it will need some attention I think because it's really really dirty here um, Give it a good bath with with the um, solvent, isopropyl alcohol, or whatever you have. You could maybe also use some um, uh, lighter fluid or so. I wouldn't use um, uh, acetone. I think it's maybe it's too a little hard uh, I don't know but I'm fine with the isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol or iso <laughs> so it really looks fine the old greasy stuff is away and that's it and I would just See if I can dry it a little bit so it's nice and fine. So there. And now it looks really good to me. So um, next thing is to actually uh, put on some lubrication, but not yet. I'll just uh, put as much as possible into the the um, eyepiece cover and you can see uh, it looks fine so we will just put it back in again nothing special about that just check the 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 uh, shutter I mean the eyepiece stopper here is all the way up to here and uh, so this part here, this the end of the IP stopper is going into here, this area. <coughs> and uh, so it can move actually. And then you can just put it in. So you can see it fits in here. And uh, you'll just put in one screw. Get it ready to be put in here. Just load my screwdriver with a screw and put this part in here into place so it will sit there. That's the only thing it does. Now get the screwdriver in and then we are back to almost normal thing. Don't set the spring on yet 
because uh, we need to put in the plates. And uh, before doing so, uh, I will just put in some very likely amount of grease on the uh, on the eyepiece uh, shutter lever because it's the only uh, pin that needs some thing. But maybe a little piece of uh, grease here. I would think just a very short amount. Let's see if it can go in with it. And I think it will work. Just to turn it a little, a little. Maybe it needs some more. Could be the case here. It doesn't have to be much. So one can actually just put around here on the on the hole and say that's fine. Doesn't need that much. Put it on again. And then we are ready to put in the put in the blades. But the eyepiece uh, shutter lever has to be all the way over here when you put it in. It will make it easier for you to actually put the um, put the blades in. Maybe we'll just you take away a little of the grease here, if there is too much. So that's fine. And uh, another one. So. I think it's fine for that. Set the eyepiece uh, lever all the way over to here, this way, and hold it. Now, next thing is to actually put in the blades. And uh, I mean, the blade itself, it's, uh -huh. come on here, looks, ah, they are also a little dirty, um, I can see. So I will just give it a little um, isopropyl alcohol, just uh, on the on one end of it, so they can uh, come on here, little fellow, because that's where the the old gungi grease is, and the other one. Too. I don't think they have to have any grease on it. Um, I think they have to be uh, clear of, I mean, clean from any uh, kind of sticky grease or so. The blade itself looks actually fine, so I think there will be no problem there. Now, then we can continue to put in the plates and uh, just doing so here. <laughs> Come on. Just put it in here. And it will, with a little help from a finger here, you will have it there. Now keep the spring away from the, from this end here. Put in the, 
second plate so it will go as high as possible um, up to the very top a come on hmm okay so there put it in I mean put it on it should be there hmm no we're not what's going on here <laughs> e so okay hmm that was weird That was really weird. Aha, uh -huh. okay, I see the point. One have to press the blade on there. What what the hell is going on here? Hmm. That was weird. Okay. Off again. See what's happened. It looks like the yeah see you have to press this further down here so uh, it will be all the way down to the the bottom and then you will be able to put in the blades so there yeah, I think it will work. So there. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, it's not easy. As you might see. So, there. Come on, little fellow. Just an annoying little blade. <laughs> so, there. Click. And then put on the spacer then put in the where the hell is that screw here <laughs> it didn't load my screwdriver before hmm yeah come on don't have to release the the blades so now Whew, that was funny but wow so much better so next then put the uh, the spring on again um, you see one end have to sit there it's the long end and the other more bended part have to go all the way over to this post here Grab it, pull it over, and release it. So, there. And here we are. So, how it works. Yeah, that's the way it should be. No problem. Everything is back to normal.
which is good. And uh, let's see what's happened if I put the IPs uh, on here. It should say click kind of. Yeah, it does. And you cannot unscrew it. At, uh, well, if you sh uh, close the shutter, uh, you would be able to put it uh, to unscrew it again. So that's fine. Wow. Well, time to put it back into the camera again. Uh, maybe there are some dirt on here. Looks like it looking really good. And that's it. Uh, I can just put the the eyepiece uh, in the camera again. And say that's all fine. Remember the little spring here? It goes on to... So it sits in here and goes uh, under. See? It goes under this uh, plastic part of the viewfinder so it has to go the the well this area here uh, has to go into the bottom here and you simply stick it on and maybe you have to manipulate the spring a little or just move the eyepiece uh, cover a little then put it in now set the little screw on top of it and so there wow click so now it should work and then I can uh, put the actual rubber thingy eyepiece on So, and turn it a little backward to catch the, the thread, uh, so there, click, and then here we are, put the, you can open the shutter lever again, and you cannot unscrew the, the rubber eyepiece off. So everything is actually back to normal. Wow. Just like new. <clears throat> so that was all for me this uh, in this video. And I would, uh, would like to say thank you for your support uh, of all the viewers out there. It has uh, been a great year. I mean, not of uh, Corona. <laughs> well, um, but hopefully there something new will happen in the during the next year um so yeah i will also say uh, happy new year to everybody out there and take care out there it's uh, just the little c out there this uh, <laughs> controlling everything so um see you sooner next year bye bye